Shalom de la Messie. I walk up here in the name of Jesus in me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> you know, one thing I've, I've seen about drivers is drivers are really amazing. You know, a driver is... <laughs> Is this what you wanted to say, Pastor Yemdel? No, but let me talk about what's going on right now as I'm driving. So I'm I'm trafficking and then I'm pleading for space right now just so I can enter. And the people who know they can give me the space, but they are not giving me the space. Now until one person had to enter my way and then I now had the space and the person from behind led me. Right. On the other hand, I always give people space to pass. Right. Have I been stubborn for years? Especially in my country, I'm very mad. Oh, mad means mad is in French. Goodness. I, I used to be very stubborn because of traffic. You know, there will be heavy traffic and then somebody's wanting to cut on the other side. No, all of us, we are here. For what? Why will you cut me? For what? What is it? Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'm almost home. Right. I want to release this prophetic word to somebody. I believe you need it. I believe I need it. I've learned to connect myself to prophetic words always. You know why? I had a bad experience before where God was talking to me and I felt like he was talking to somebody else. And it has brought me to that consciousness. And I always want to connect myself to what God is doing. I always want to commit myself to what is happening. But this particular prophetic word says they will call you back. I say it again. But this particular prophetic word says they will call you back. You know, a lot is going on right now. Some of us are pressured, some of us are tense, some of us are expecting feedbacks, some of us have lost contact with people, and we want these people to reach out with us. You know, one of the most amazing things about life I've been asking myself is, you can be okay with somebody, very fine and very okay with that person, and then all of a sudden, the person just changes towards you, stop calling you. And maybe you're trying to reach out to the person and they're ignoring you and all that. It's, it's a whole lot, honey. It's, it's really a whole lot. So you're watching me right now. You lost an amazing contact. And this has been disturbing you. This has been disturbing you. You are trusting and you are believing God for a particular contract. Trusting and you believe in God for a particular business. You want the Lord to come true for you. You're free and you're very much expected about what you want. You want God to come true for you. You want the Lord to show up for you. The Lord told me they will call you back. I'm very sorry. I'm I'm driving and I'm at the same time. I'm really sorry about this. Alright. These days have been so hectic and you know I receive some of his prophetic words while I'm driving. So I feel like this is good for me. If I stop and I don't give them what is gonna happen is I will forget them. So I'm very sorry right now. Please do not pick an offense wherever you are. Do not pick an offense I beg you please hallelujah so i just stopped i'm home right now so the prophetic word says they will call you back they will call you back i want to pray with you right now watching me somebody left and abandoned you no contact no information i'm saying this and i felt so i felt so emotional all of a sudden no contact, no information, nothing, nothing. 
you deposited that CV, deposited the application, you've been waiting for them to connect with you and get back to you, there is nothing. You've been waiting for a long time. You've been trusting and believing God that something might just come true for you. Probably something might change, but nothing is happening. This prophetic word says they will call you back. You had a relationship with somebody that you loved so much and afterwards everything just ended the way it ended and you don't want to lose this particular relationship because you feel like i've given it my time and i really want this particular person i want to pray that let there be a divine intervention they will call you back in the name of jesus amen let's pray Father, I pray with my brother, my sister right now. I release the activation of this prophetic word over their lives. Let this manifest. The word says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. All things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. I pray right now. I release every force that is hindering these people. Let there be a great connection. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a great connection right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They will call you back. Get ready for what God is about to do. There's about to be a great smile on your face again. A great, great one. There is about to be a great smile on your face again. They will call you back. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please, if this has been of great importance to you, I would beg on you, please, that you pray for me. Always intercede for me, please, as the Spirit of the Lord leads you. And do not forget also to share the video. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for driving and talking. I'm very sorry. And I'm really sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Driving and I'm talking. I'm very, very sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Just in case you didn't feel comfortable about this. And you've been watching till now. Thank you so much for your patience. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine at you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing messy. Nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I do. I love you so, so much. If nobody ever tells you how much they love you, I, AFL, I'm telling you that I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly. And God bless you abundantly. I love you. Shalom.